Hello guys, this is uh, Hobo Roadrunner again, and today I wanted to do a review on the UST bug out bag or survival bag, whichever one you want to call it. I just picked this up at uh, Walmart for 54 bucks. It's 58 with the t with the tax included, and uh, this is designed to mainly I wouldn't call it. It's not like you're gonna go out to the woods and live off of this. This gives you enough supplies to deal with something like, you know, Hurricane Katrina and, you know, Hurricane Ike and all, you know, an earthquake and stuff like that. You know, this isn't something that's gonna, you know, you're gonna truck off in the woods with and survive off for the next couple of years or whatever. But uh, I did want to take a look at this. If I remember correctly, when I first got this, I got this about two and a half years ago on my first one. And uh, if I remember correctly, this was designed for, it was designed for about, I think, three people for, no, one per, yeah, about three people for three days. I can't exactly remember. But if that's the case, and it's designed for three people for three days, and it's just me, okay, then that would be, let's see, one person would be nine days, I think think i don't know but anyways let's uh let's get everything out on the table and see what we have here i'm gonna open up real slowly i've already went through it. I've, I've already had this bag before a couple years back like i mentioned so i i kind of already know what's in there but they did add a few things and uh apparently there's some new stuff in there where it's divided into like several different uh it's, it's, it's divided into like several different uh, compartments, so to speak, but it's, the compartments are just baggies and such that they, uh, you know, whatever. You'll see what I mean. But anyways, let's uh, take everything out and see what we got here. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm getting it open, and this is what you see when you first open it. So, as I said, everything's in little compartments, and I am going to open it up. Let's move this over. <clears throat> It does not give me a content list of what's in it, so just bear with me, okay? I don't know everything that's in it. Like I said, they changed it up every couple of years, but let's check out and see what we got here. Okay, first up, we got our survival tools. It says here on top, if I can get that in focus. In the event of a natural disaster or other emergency, you may be forced to leave your home. These four tools will be essential to your survival during an unexpected evacuation. So what they give you is you got 30 feet of paracord. <clears throat> it says use cord to help build an emergency shelter. Tease out core threads for emergency fishing line, first aid, sewing thread, hang your food away from hungry wildlife, and set snares. So basically what they mean by that, what they're talking about, is the inner cords which is what we call the guts and uh the outside would be the sheath which i'll show you guys here in a minute uh next is a 501 tool and it says here uh features a small mirror a waterproof match case liquid filled compass emergency whistle and flint fire starter uh, next is a multi-blade tool can be used to cut your cordage filled dress uh small Oh, I'm sorry, fill dress, small game, create sparks with your flint to start a fire, and even fashion an improv improvised spear. Includes blade, ex I'm sorry, includes blade, scissors, screwdriver, corkscrew bottle, I'm sorry, uh, corkscrew bottle, and can openers. And then the last one is you get three survival towels, compact for easy storage when dry, expands when wet, I'm sorry, expands with water for max maximum ab absurdity. Whatever, I can't speak right now. And it is reusable. So I'm going to open these up and um, we're going to look and actually see what these tools are. Uh, so these are the <clears throat> survival tools that came out of the, out of the uh, little packet. This is the 30 feet uh, paracord. Here are the three survival towels. Now, the good thing about this that a lot of people don't realize, because a lot of people are like, well, what do I need a towel for? You know, if I'll just let the sun dry my hands. Well, the thing is, is when it's raining and you don't have a container, you can use this to collect rainwater. And to me, truthfully, I trust rainwater. I've drank rainwater and I can't, and it came out fine. So you can use this to collect rainwater, but if you do have, you know, like a, uh, 
you know, like a water bottle and you need to filter out certain stuff, you know, rocks, pebbles, whatever, you can also put this on the, uh, on top of the water bottle, you know, basically you're like right on top where the, uh, screw, the, uh, cap is and, you know, keep out all the, uh, all the big stuff that can't go through it. Next, we got the, uh, fiber one tool. It does have the screwdriver, the corkscrew, yada, yada, yada. It's just a simple little, uh, Swiss Army knife or whatever you want to call it. Not too good, but not too bad. You know, I'd rather have this than nothing, to be honest. Next, I know y'all probably seen this before. This is that, uh, this, this is the 5 in 1 spiral tool. My bad, not this. But, uh, this, this has the fire steel striker right there. Has the whistle, which I'm not going to blow, blow the whistle right now. I'd probably get in trouble. Has the compass right there, and that is actually right. North is that way. And what they don't mention is it does have a lanyard on it. And then the, I'm not, I can't open this right now. Cause I, well, actually, yeah, I can. <clears throat> it has a gasket right there. And you can go over and put matches in there. Now, to be honest, a lot of people don't like this because it is very simple. And there is the mirror. Hi. It does, it is very simple and it's plastic. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather find one that's metal. But then again, that would probably fuck up the, uh, the, uh, compass on here. So, I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna go on to, into the, uh, next section. Okay, so the next one is, uh, lighting. It says here, when lighting is poor, limited, or non-existent, having a reliable backup is a lifesaver. Uh, emergency lighting sources can help to send a distress signal, avoid dangerous obstacles, and increase your visibility to rescue teams. So like I said uh, before in the beginning of the video, this again, you're not going to go out into the woods. I mean, you can technically. There is some stuff you can use, but I mean, like I said, this is if you have to leave your home and... You know, your party's somewhere, you know, your home was destroyed and you're just having to grab the bag. <clears throat> this isn't, again, uh, again, this isn't, you know, the big tactical, you know, what you see other YouTubers and people on TV and such have. Anyways, <clears throat> it includes one dynamo kinetic flashlight, okay, says provides bright clear lighting, uh, integrated hand pump converts kinetic energy to create light when battery life runs out. Use a constant squeezing motion to keep light on. On and off switch with backup battery power for steady on light without hand pumping. Battery is non-rechargeable and non-replaceable and can be used to signal SOS. It also gives you three, three light sticks, and which is obviously battery free. Lightweight emergency lighting attached to string and spin overhead to create a circle of radiant glowing light for signaling and contents are non flammable. So let's get it out and take a look and see what we got. Alright, so we got the three uh, light sticks. All of them are green and it indicates it right down here below. As you can see right there, all green. Nothing really special, just simple light sticks. Right here, we got the uh, flashlight. Let's see. If I could do this. Okay, so it, it does work. That's good. LED. And if you needed to charge it up, you hit this right here. You got to pull that down, and then this, this comes out. And as you can see... It gives off a little light, but it's also charging up the batteries. I gotta say, it is kind of annoying. I don't like hearing that sound. But at the same time, if I had to, I would use this as a backup. If I had nothing else to use for light, even my cell phones, I would use this. Yeah, it's not a bad flashlight. Next up, we got Shelter. It says here... Exposure to the elements is one of the leading causes of death in survival situations. That is true. You can only go three hours, if I remember correctly, without having a stable shelter. Otherwise, you know, if you're out in the cold and such, you're going to die. 
Uh, protecting yourself from harsh wind, rain, and sun exposure is paramount. It says here it includes three emergency ponchos. Uh, multiple uses include keeping yourself dry, collecting rainwater, or building an emergency shelter. Uh, ultra lightweight and compact. That's true. Uh, includes three, <clears throat> three silver survival reflective blankets. Multiple uses include keep them warm, creating an emergency shelter, and deflecting the sun's heat. Visible, I'm sorry, high visibility reflective surface can also be used to signal for help. And it also includes one orange emergency tent, lightweight, compact, and easy to set up, provides shelter from the sun and rain, and can be used as thermal protection or as a ground cloth and is high visibility. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to, you know, yeah, I'll take these out. All right, so we got the tent, which actually, to be honest, this reminds me of that Koblenz tent that we did a video on a couple months back. It comes with the land, the uh, cordage and everything, though, to be honest, I think you're going to need a lot more cordage than that. Uh, let's see, we got the three ponchos, just plain, clear, see-through ponchos, nothing special. And we got three emergency blankets. Again, nothing special, just three regular emergency blankets. Also, on the shelter card for the tent, it does give you little diagrams on, let's see, it tells you you can make a tent, which that's an A-frame. tells you you can use it as a uh, tarp, which that's a lean-to, basically, and a ground cover. Okay, next up, we got hydration. It says here, each pouch provides 4.2 fluid ounces of purified drinking water to help prevent dehydration and keep you alive. You can only go three days without water, so this will help. Uh, de dehydration can result in muscle cramps, dizziness, and eventually death. Before you drink any water from any unverified source, make sure it is safe and boil the water if you are in doubt. Uh, it includes 12 emergency drinking water pouches, five with, which come with five year shelf lives, contains purified water from a medical water source, Made in the USA, and again, 4.2 fluid ounces, or 125 milliliters each. So let's get these out and see what they look like. Right, I'm not going to pull all of them out, but this is just an example of what their uh, emergency drinking water looks like. As it says, it has a five-year shelf life. And let's see, what's this? Uh, recommend uses for marine, home, business, or anytime water is needed for an emergency. Uh, field test. Check by squeezing pouch. If air or water escapes, do not use. Uh, contains purified drinking water from a manipulable water source. Yada, yada, yada. The usual stuff I just mentioned. Next is uh, first aid. Not gonna, not gonna pull everything out, but uh, says here, injuries sustained on the move can be a drastic impact on your chance of survival. The first aid kit provides essential medical supplies you will need to tend to minor scrapes, cuts, and bruises. Or in other words, it's a boo-boo kit. And it includes 10, I can never say that, 10 bandage strips that are 1x3, uh, 2 knuckle bandages, 3 butterfly wound closers, 2 confirming stretch gauze, uh, let's see, two examining gloves, four gauze pads, six safety pins, uh, one medical tape, one tweezer, one reusable poly bag, uh, one first aid learn and live cards, which I will bring out, and one hand sanitizer. The, the, this is the, uh, learn and live cards. I'm not going to read any of them, not right now at least, but, uh, this does give some simple information, bites, uh, Let's see. Stings. Just just general stuff, you know, owie kits. That would, you know, stuff that owie kits would have. Next up is nutrition, or just basically food. It says here, uh, during an, uh, an unplanned evacuation, food may not be read readily available. It is important to pack high-calorie, non-perishable food to keep you going in the case of an emergency situation. These food bar ration bars are adequate for three people for three days. So yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out earlier is what what this bag can do for how many people. So and it just said it right here, three people for three days. So if that's the case, and to be honest, I can't see it being for three people for three days, but whatever. If that's the case, then for me, 
when you divide all that and you take out the equation of the fact that it's just me and two dogs, this will be for me one person for nine days. But to be honest, I don't see how that is. To be honest, if that's the case, this would have been three, three, no, this would have been nine bars for each per, no, three bars for each person, so that would have been nine bars, but whatever. Anyways, says, uh, includes four emergency food ration packages. Uh, these as well have five-year shelf lives. Each package contains six 400-calorie food bars, providing a total of 24 hundred calories and they weigh 18 ounces now i actually have experience with these uh these emergency food bar rations i buy on a regular basis uh mainly due to the fact that you know ho when you're out hoboing around and such it is kind of hard especially when you don't have money to get uh proper food and stuff like that but when i do get you know maybe like 20 30 40 bucks i'll go off to walmart first and then I, i'll go to walmart first and uh buy at least one or two of these i really like it the only gripe i have with this is the only flavor they ever come out with is the uh, apple cinnamon flavor that's it and that kind of bums me i was hoping they in the last couple years i was hoping they'd come out with new flavors but this is all they come out with and last but not least fire starting says fire is essential in any survival situation uh, being able to create a fire will allow you to stay warm, war off dangerous wildlife, purify and drink in water, cook food, signal for help, dry your clothes, and more. It includes 40 waterproof matches. Even in wet condition, these matches are sure to light when you need them. Uh, use, the, use package inserts for fire starting material. Basically, they're talking about these, uh, these little cards, which truthfully I just throw them out, but whatever. So that is the UST Survival Bug Out Bag. Uh, I was actually thinking that I thought they added more. You know, I, th I, th I think it's kind of weird because it's like, this is everything. You know, but they it was all included in this big pouch. There's nothing, there's nothing in this small pouch. See, nothing whatsoever. So I was, I was, I was a little bummed out. When I first bought this one a couple years back... Uh, I don't remember if it was even UST related. It might have. It might have been. There's another company that uses a red bag that says "Be Bug Out Bag" on on the front of it, where the UST logo is. And there is included all this, but you know, theirs was a different brand, and they actually had a radio that came with it, which I, I wish I had that still. That would have been nice. But uh, anyways, now. <clears throat> Who, what's this bag for? Who's the bag for? To me, the one thing I've learned over the years is, you know, when you're doing, when you're prepping and surviving and all that stuff, you know, not everybody has a couple thousand, a couple hundred, couple thousand dollars to do, you know, prepping and survivalism and stuff like that. And I always go by the, uh, the saying, the more you know, the less you need sort of thing, you know, so it's like, when I see a chance to get any survival gear that I feel like I need, and it, it's something that's in my budget, to be honest, I, I wouldn't mind having this. The only problem I have is I don't like the bag. The bag is a generic bag, orange, with a UST logo on it, you know. And it's like, with me, if I had to, I would use something you know maybe something something like a solid a different solid color you know blue green black especially black you know you i don't want to be seen walking somewhere if i have all this stuff all the supplies with me and the next thing you know this right here which is reflective is given off my position because ust thinks you know hey everybody needs to see you this isn't a bag a bad pack I do recommend this. Just don't, just don't be thinking you're buying something that's very high quality, because this isn't high quality stuff. You know, I mean, truthfully, hell, even those hydration packs, that's not enough water to get you through, through a whole day, which is probably why they added twelve instead of nine. Because if this is supposed to be a three-person, three-day kit, you know, you would divide the water. You know, you get this, 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 and this. You know, so three waters for him, three waters for him, three waters for him. 
But no, they added 12, and I think they knew that's not, that that wasn't enough water. And even with 12 packages, again, that's not enough water. That's why when you read, uh, can't believe I'm bringing them up, you know, the FEMA page, you know, I remember when Katrina hit us in Houston, they were telling us, you know, before then, to the, the get, uh, like, three gallons of water per person, you know. So my mom went off to Dollar Tree and got us, you know, how many gallons it was. I can't remember. It was so many years ago. Anyways, yeah, this isn't a bad kit. I do recommend it. Like I said, just don't be expecting a, high, a lot of high-quality stuff. Uh, I am going to put two links below in the description that will bring you to uh, an eBay page where you can buy this as well as the Walmart page where you can also buy it off of them. I hope you guys liked uh, liked the review. Please like, share, and uh, comment down below what y'all thought. You know, tell me what you would have added. Tell me what you would have took out. I probably would have added a survival knife, you know, maybe like a hunting knife or whatever. And then I also probably would have added uh, maybe like a small radio or something. Because usually they come with it. I'm surprised they didn't. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.